Hey Shadows, how's it going? Shadow Sick here. Welcome back to me and Cleft on the Xbox 360. If you're just joining me on this and you haven't been watching any of my other stuff, I just uh, defeated the Fume Knight. And you're wondering why my, why my voice sounds a little fucked up is because uh, of this. No! Okay, cool. Now, next plan is to fill this up. So I can't remember how I did it. It's been so long since I've played. Alright, so you fill up, the, fill the top up, and then you white. Yeah, okay, yeah, I remember now. So how shit has been? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Me, I've I've been alright. I've been okay, you know. All good in the hoods. I've graduated. Um, this is being filmed on the twelfth of December. Just thought I'd let you know because videos are being a bit late. This isn't like too far back of being pre-recorded. Uh, I graduated on the. Uh, 7th of December, and I'm stoked about that. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, it's overall, it's just been great. So, I've, I've, it's been a lot of up and downs lately. Like, for example, just being so into trying to pass and graduate that uh, I hadn't pre recorded anything, so this is all just on the fly. Like, right now, it's 11 past 11 pm on a Monday, and I just recently uploaded the Shadow Sunday that was meant to come out the day before, of course, on the Sunday. And I haven't even made the this week's videos as I'm rec as I'm recording this anyway on the twelfth, and I haven't even edited the video that's meant to be up this Monday, like right now, Dark Souls Two of me healing the Fume Knight. Uh, but that's how far behind I am. But once I get on top of it, um, everything should be okay. But December is probably my most least favorite month of the year, um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, other than the year ending and everything like that, the year has gone by so quickly. Um, just the stressfulness, like there's a song that says like, Christmas is the, is the uh, this is the most wonderful time of the year. It's not. It's the most stressful time of the year. Especially if you're buying presents for someone, you know? Like, if you're the person buying presents for people and money's just fucking tight. So there's so much stuff I want to do, so much stuff I want, so much stuff I need, so much stuff I really want to get and I've been wanting to get for a very long time, but I just don't have the money to do it. Minecraft always makes me tired. There's nothing too much going on, that's why. It's just building shit. Wish I could, wish I could get friends to help me do this shit, then it'll probably make it a little bit more fun. Like how Chima Hunter does it with their Let's Builds. Like right now, um, I really need to get, uh... An Xbox One headset. I've got Dark Souls 3. I've got the Halo Master Chief Collection, which means I can start doing John Shadow and Halo again. I got Destiny. I've got a bunch of Xbox One games that I really want to make, but I need to get a decent headset to do it. Um, like headphones and headset to do it. But I just can't afford it right now because of how like busy I am and how and December is just a shitty time because all your money just gets thrown into other shit. What also bugs me is like, I know that I don't have to, but I want to, um, is that I could, I haven't touched Dark Souls 3 since I bought it, I haven't touched Destiny or any of the games on my Xbox One other than Halo 5 since I bought it, and I want to play them, but I want to make my first reaction on it as a video. Plus Dark Souls is a tester, Dark Souls 3, so I can't touch it until I make a tester of it either. So there's just a lot of things I want to do, but there's just so much restrictions to do so. I already feel myself dozing off to sleep. That's what Minecraft does to you. It's just so mellow. There's no music because copyright. There's no interesting sound. It's just. And it's just the same shit. I've been playing uh, a mix of games lately. Um, that's something to talk about actually. Um, my achievements updated. I can't remember how long ago, but um, the top rank used to be 60,000 back in the day. I oh, know, yeah, it was fifty or fifty or sixty thousand, and I'm like, fuck. You. Oh yeah, it was fifty thousand. I was like, fuck yeah, I did it. Woo! 
I finally fucking did it. 50,000 souls. I mean, not souls. Achieve, uh, achievement gamer score. Woo! Oh, by the way, my flatmate and his wife are here. So if you hear them being loud, then, uh, that happens. Uh, but yeah, so it was 50,000. And then a while ago, it got updated, uh, and then made the top 65,000. And I'm like, I can do that. I was pissed because I finally, like, just as I reached the goal, I recently updated. So I was only briefly at the top rank. And then, um, now I'm at, like, what? Six, 65,000. Trying to get to 75,000. And then recently, and all not so long ago, it updated and now the top is 100,000. So it's like, I mean, like, come on. I don't have the time. I don't have time to put into games to get all the achievements. I mean, once I start doing more of my, more of my walkthroughs, because Dark Souls walkthroughs are probably the longest walkthroughs out of all the ones that I'll ever do. Especially Dark Souls 2. I feel like Dark Souls 2 will be one of the longest playthroughs I'll ever do. Uh, I don't know how, how Dark Souls 3 is going to go, or Bloodborne when I get it, but as far as I know, those ones are going to be the longest ones. So I'm going to breeze probably quite fast fast through the other ones because they're quite linear and somewhat linear because you have a direct objective on where to go where Dark Souls you can easily complete the game as fast as you want but I'm choosing to defeat all bosses which is my my doing and I want to stick to it I'm not going to change that no matter what Dark Souls come out even one day I want to do a walk through Demon Souls the classic Dark Souls and I want to defeat all the bosses it's just how I want to do it so it's going to happen but I mean like my achievement gamer score probably will shoot up once I start doing non Dark Souls or Bloodborne related or like Bandai Namco kind of, you know, those kind of game related walkthroughs because the other games will go through a lot faster, you know? Like at the moment, I've 100% of The Walking Dead already. Like I did it ages ago. But I still haven't done a walkthrough of it and I've still got it on my hard drive. Once I do, I've done a walkthrough of it, which won't take that long at all, I'm deleting the game because I've got all the achievements for it. Um, some games, I've got all the achievements for them, and all I need is either multiplayer or DLC or both. And once I get all those achievements, I'm deleting the game. There's no need to keep it. I mean, there's certain games where I'm kind of keeping them, keeping them and holding on to them. For example, like um, some Call of Duty games, some Halo games, and also um, Tester games, and stuff like that. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's some games that I've 100%ed that I'm keeping, but that's for either YouTube reasons or... Um, because they're games you can play for fun, like Tekken, or Call of Duty, or Halo. Now, those are games you can just play with a mate for fun. I know a lot of mates, they like to just play Call of Duty for fun sometimes with me. Even though Call of Duty... Oh, there, it goes. there goes my recording. Uh, even though Call of Duty isn't really my game, I'll still uh, play it with them, if they want. Fucking fridge. Forgot to turn it off. Uh, I'm just going to keep building until the video is processed, and then you can join me back once it's finished and I'll start recording again. But yeah, um there's there's a lot of games that like or like I know I've got quite a few friends of mine that really like to play Tekken. We love to play Tekken together. And so there's no reason why I would delete Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Uh just because I hundred percented it. Because I recently hundred percented Tekken Tag Tournament 2. I still I've hundred percented Tekken 6. I deleted Tekken 6, but that's because we've got Tekken Tag Tournament 2, and it can do the best of both worlds of either doing it where you can tag, tag team fight, or just singles fight. Even though Tekken 5 and Tekken 3 are probably my favorite Tekkens, I've deleted the sixth one and kept the tag one, even though I've 100%ed it, just in case a friend wants to play it. Okay, let's get back to it. So yeah, this is a lot of games that I want to do achievements in, and games that I probably will never delete. Like, I have a friend of mine that really likes... Lego Lord of the Rings for some reason. And that's the only game she really is into, is into playing, other than XCOM. Um, so I haven't deleted it. Even though I've 100%ed uh, Lord of the Rings, Lego Lord of the Rings, I haven't deleted it yet. Just in case she wants to go back to it. Um, but I'm actually going to ask her at some point if she ever wants to go back to it, because she seems to be too into XCOM right now. So if she doesn't want to go back to it, I'm just going to delete it, because it's taking up too much storage on my hard drive. A lot of games are. I really need to want to get an external hard drive so that I can actually... Uh, what I want to do is I want to put all my texture games on the external hard drive. Like, because even if I lost the external hard drive, at least I could recover them and just re-download them on my Xbox. There's no big deal about that. But I mean, like, the external hard drive will be able to keep all my tester games on there so that I've got more space on 
my main Xbox for my games was Golds and other games that I have, so that when friends come over, I can just do that, you know. It was either that or do it the other way around to put all my games on the external, and then my testers on the actual console. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just do the testers, because there'd be less games to install if I lost um, the external hard drive or the external hard drive was fucked, you know. Because I think that people would need my hard drive anyway. Like, if I was to lose it or it was to get stolen, people would need to be able to access my account to be actually able to play them, because I bought them. At least I think that's how it goes. So we'll go for 40 minutes, and then we'll stop. And then I gotta film Minecraft on computer, and a wrestling update, and a Shadow Sunday. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the Shadow Sunday. Alright, so, done all the tops. Alright. Now we gotta add the next one. I'm gonna make a quick save though. Oh, Dead Mouse likes Minecraft. Dead Mouse, that's what. I was like, who the fuck is Dead Mouse 5? I know who Dead Mouse is now. It's a fucking DJ. Herpity derp derp. <laughs> uh, Alright, anyway. Wait, was it stone? Pretty sure it was. Yeah, it is stone. Confused for a second. Anyway. Yappa da dappa da dippa do. Yappa da dappa dippa do my super to clean this room. And we have reached 40 minutes. Made some decent progress. Um, don't worry, I'm going to finish what I'm doing and then end it. Like, I'm not gonna fill in that just yet, but I'll uh, do the outline of this because that, that doesn't take that long, and then we'll stop. But even though it may seem like to some that we haven't made that much project uh, progress this episode, I feel we have. We filled up all the roofs of the first gold block. Now we're just starting to work on the base, on the roofs, so that we can move on to the second gold block. And then we got another two after that. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time. But it's not how it used to be when I was at home. At home I was able to work on this at home, like any time I wanted, because all I had was course to worry about when I was studying bartending. But now I've got like a job and yeah, so it's just it's a lot more to worry about this year. So but anyway, that's that done so far. What we'll do I might take a thumbnail like this. Thumbnail. But uh, yeah, we'll get started on that. And then do the, the clay one, and then the wool one, and then the glass one, and then we'll build up the borders for the next block, the, the second gold block. It's going to take a long time, considering we're doing... Because originally Achievement Hunter did one, one big one. One big one made out of wool. But we're doing four, just because I can. But I mean, if you have any suggestions on stuff that I should build, and if you want me to take a break from that and work on something else, then I can. It's really your call. But I mean, well, I feel like just doing one project at a pro project at a time. But if you want to, feel free to leave suggestions, eh, or something to build. Or if you want to jump in and help me finish this tower, then let me know. The comment your gamer tag. Make sure it's a 360, not the Xbox One version. I do have it on the Xbox One, but I don't want to transfer my world to the Xbox One. So if you have a 360. And you want to help me out, give me your gaming tag in the comments, and I'll invite you and we can do some shit. But, if you do break the rules uh, and destroy stuff you shouldn't, and all that jazz, well then, I will block your gamer tag. No joking around. Like, this isn't really a world to be joking around in, you know? So, like, if you jump in and you start chucking TNT everywhere, or some troll shit like that, then your ass is gone for good, alright? But, uh, anyway, I'm going to go... This has been fun. Bit good to be back a little bit. Uh, now I've got to fucking hoo the hell out of everything. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go. So, uh, please leave a like if you should enjoy it. Subscribe more. It would help me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next episode or whatever I make. Stay awesome. I know you all. Love you all. Bye bye. Better not be. I can't remember this far. Should have watched the entire video. It's probably. Yeah, it's the boss. And I'm dead. <sighs> God damn.